my video got cut off. But that is fine, because you should be like this. And you should have this last set of this on this pegu. And most people wouldn't even be able to get this many videos posted in a day. But you know what? Yesterday I posted five videos, and today I'm going to post ten more. <laughs> when you're trying to catch up on your YouTube making after taking too long of a break. Okay guys, now what you're going after you're looping up all of the diagonals, you're gonna take this one. Take off this bandy. Oh. You're going to Ah, uh, sorry. You are you ha you have your hook holding the stomach. You have two grays here. You're gonna go under these. Take the two, put them through without crunching any up ones. Please. Yeah. Okay, so once you have it through, you're just gonna pull the weight onto it, put the other side onto your hook, and tie off. Like that. You know? You can gently take it off. <sighs> yeah, there's probably going to be one more video after this, which is going to be the tail. F the tail. Or maybe we'll do the tail now. And the um, chest fur in the last video. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do the tail now in the chest fluff. Another one. That'll work. Right? I think it will. It'll work for me. Which means it will work for you. It really doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. Okay, guys, so now I can play with him. And he's a cute little foxy. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. He has a stomach. And here's the comparison. So now we just need the tail, which is gray. Up the cute little goop side. Grab a handful of gray. And it's basically the same exact thing. It is the same exact thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, same thing we did on the tail fluff. Double loop here. A duple loop here, and then go down four times in the middle. One, two, three, four. And now you're gonna go down the sides.
I actually don't know how I did this. See, look how weird that is. Like, all these sets are on the cap band. That's magical. Oh, wait, I know how to do it. That's easy. What the heck? What am I talking about? Okay. You're actually going to want to change your loom to rectangular. There. Let me go down. Now it's all messed up. There. One, two, three, four. Four band, four sets of two bands down each of the sides, and now I'm gonna overstretch it over here. Okay, I'm gonna take loop loop band here, and we're doing the same technique on the stomach go. So yeah, it's not that hard. Doobly doobly doobly. No. So, okay. so this one's double looped. Take two bands, put it here. Two bands, and double looped. Okay. Take your fox. Where's my hook? And go through the set we tied off. Yeah. So I should be able to leave you to do the stomach after I attach it and show you to do the first couple sets. Because once you get here, okay, so basically we're just going to do that and then we'll explain that because we might be able to get there. So you're going to put the loose end on your fox's butt right there and kind of stretch this guy over here so he doesn't get in the way. And then you're going to hold it so it's kind of like that. Turn it like this. Go through the cap band. And put it there. Okay. Now you want to... Now just loop the top two bands. Okay, we just looped them. Would you freaking focus? Focus. There. So you're going to be doing the same thing you did on the stomach. Loop up the middle. You can loop it up all the way this time. Take this off. Put the first... Ooh. Go through the... Set of double looped bands here. Loop up. Do the same thing all the way up until here. Once you loop those in, you're going to go through all the bands in this set. Put it here and tie it off. I'll probably be tying it off at the beginning of the next part. But I just want to make sure that I know what you're doing if I don't because it's very tempting to just finish it off okay so I'm gonna have to leave it here so I will see all of you guys next time with the next part where we'll be finishing